Hey Racketeers, what's going on? In this video, we're going to discuss the perfect breaststroke technique. Breaststroke was the first stroke invented in competitive swimming. It has a unique cycle pattern. It's one pull, one breath, one kick, and a glide. So when I teach beginners how to swim breaststroke, I use the mantra, pull, breathe, kick, glide. The breaststroke kick is the only kick in swimming where your feet are flexed instead of loose and floppy or pointed. When you kick, you trap the water in between your shins and your calf muscles and your ankles, and you push the water back, accelerating you forward. The kick is the most important part of breaststroke. It's where the power comes from. Breaststroke is a short axis stroke, which means you rotate on an axis that goes side to side across your hips. Butterfly is the other short axis stroke. These strokes are similar in nature. For instance, your arms pull at the same time, mirroring one another. Your kick kicks at the same time, also mirroring itself. When you breathe, you breathe in front of you like you do on butterfly. Most beginners make the mistake of pulling too wide and pulling too far down past their hips. When you pull in breaststroke, you want it to be a teeny tiny baby scoop. You don't want your hands to come past your shoulders or your elbows. Keep the pull in front of your face and in front of your head at all times. The glide is so important. Because the kick is the most powerful part of the stroke, you need to capitalize on the kick by gliding for at least one full second. I usually tell my beginners to start by counting to three. So one rocket, two rocket, three rockets. Then once you've mastered that, try a two second glide. One rocket, two rocket. Once you've mastered that, go down to a one rocket glide. This is a competitive breaststroke glide. This is the minimum you should glide on breaststroke. For beginners, I don't mind if their hands are separated as they shoot forward. In fact, that might help give you a little more balance, making you feel more secure in the water. For competitive swimmers, however, I want you to get your hands together like you're praying and splice them through the water when you shoot forward. You can lift your head a little bit to breathe, but don't lift it too high. One of the most common mistakes beginners make when swimming breaststroke is lifting their head way out of the water so their chin actually comes in front of their forehead your forehead should stay kind of either equal to or in front of your chin when you breathe. That means you want to lunge forward when you breathe. You'll also notice how the breaststroke is swum mostly underwater. Your head and shoulders should be the only thing that come out of the water when you breathe. That's another mistake a lot of beginners make. They try to swim out of the water instead of swimming under the water. When you kick, try to keep your knees neutral. That means they should still be about as wide as your hips, maybe a little wider. Get your ankles out as wide as you can so you can trap more water with every kick. If your hips, knees, or ankles aren't that flexible, it's okay. A fast breaststroke can also be done with a narrow kick. In fact, some Olympians have really capitalized on the narrow kick and made it work for them. When you glide forward, I want you to fully extend your hands out front so that your body is as long as possible. A long body line in the water helps you swim more hydrodynamic and gives you more balance because it engages your core. Try not to dive your hands down when you glide, but rather shoot them up towards the surface. They don't need to break the surface, but they should be an inch below it. If your hands dive forward and down, you may be slowing yourself down with some resistance. Likewise, extend your toes out back as far behind you as you can after each kick. That will lengthen out your body line. The breaststroke kick is the only kick in swimming where your feet should not cause a splash or any white water after they kick. The entire kick remains underwater the whole time. The breaststroke kick has three steps, heels up, toes out to the side, and then kick back. The pull is kind of like sculling water, so pretend like you're baking a cake or directing a choir, kind of like you're treading water. Sweep the hands out, sweep them underneath your chest, and shoot them forward. When you breathe, you want to breathe as soon as you start your pull. So as soon as your hands separate, go ahead and start taking that breath. That way you're done taking one full complete breath by the time your hands are shooting back forward and you're kicking. So all your momentum, including your head now, is going forward. Once you've got your breath, however, I want you to put your head down below your arms. It's faster than gliding with your face looking forward and your forehead taking on a lot of resistance. Get your head down so your hips come back up and your legs won't sink. And that's how you swim the perfect breaststroke technique. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. If you found it helpful, splash that like button and subscribe to the channel for free. Check out our other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok to watch shorter videos and get tips throughout the week. Now get ready to rock it.